What's up, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing muy magnifico today. We are about to get a little bit of help and guidance. As you can see, we got the Moonology and the Radiant Rider Tarot. But let's get started with the Moonology and see what's going on first in these ethers today. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, we have a time for healing. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, a time for healing. Balsamic moon, anything else? Hold on, what's this? A win-win outcome is in forecast, bottom of the deck. It looks like a time for healing is the message, is the memo for us. A time for healing. Oh, not just kidding, we got two more. Bottom of the deck influencing us, we have South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. All right, very good. Very good, very good. Let's see what we have over here. We have the end of a type, tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Okay. And then nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. All right, that's interesting. Now, the best thing about the nothing will come of this situation, the void of course moon, is if you do anything for the good or for the bad, nothing will come of the situation so if you're working on a project or something you're more than likely not going to end up using it if you go to purchase something you're not going to use it so it's just best that you kind of lay low and just let everything dissipate especially with it being clear that you know uh the cycles are closing and we're healing right now just you know it's best if we let the cosmos and the alchemy do everything on its own while we just kind of sit back and let rest and allow things to unfold Ready, shuffled, and split the deck. Bottom of the deck, we have healing. Wish fulfillment. I like it. Prayers being heard. As you can see, she's pouring these deep emotions not only into a pond of, I'm assuming, deeper emotions, which she's uh, herself. Uh, are those? Oh, she is naked. I apologize. Uh, which she herself is also hopping into, but she's also grounding in nature. So she's, you know, dispersing emotion all over the place. All right, she's really healing. She's really uh, finding her sensual energy, if you ask me. Very sensual energy. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Aquarius in the house. All right, okay, so. That's interesting. All right, so. All right, so we're waiting for our ships to come in. Apparently, we've been doing a lot of work, and we've been carrying this burden. Blood, sweat, and tears. And it seems to me that we've been the only person carrying this burden, working on this. Nonetheless, we have to completely turn our backs to everything else so that we can wait for our ships to come in. We are ready for the new, ready for what's to come. It looks like we're also closing out a cycle of exhaustion, fatigue, uh, just basically being the, uh, not a doormat, but feeling as if you have to do everything yourself. All right. Exactly. Here we go. So now we have the star healing, right? Who is healing? A person who was just carrying this entire burden, the wounded warrior, you know what? He was still standing, but you know what? I'm glad to see that he may be releasing this burden so that he can move forward towards a true, reliable, stable commitment or situation. We don't know what this is. King of Pentacles isn't only just a committed man. He's also a family man, a businessman. He's just a reliable man. He's a phenomenal energy. So let's get going. Let's see what else we've got going on. Okay, so we have a two of cups. All right, there's some sort of collaborative efforts going on with this two of cups. Okay, now what type of soulmate connection is this? Are we learning together? Are we able to love each other and be happy and be graceful? I'm not sure exactly. Beautiful. Okay, so there's an offer on the table. All right, we definitely have an offer on the table. All right, something we may not be aware of or seeing, but it's something we've been waiting for. Okay, so we may not be seeing it clearly, but it's something we've definitely been waiting for. All right, let's see, okay. All right, so it looks like we had to wait for divine orchestration to play out. We had to wait for the angels to sound their horns for things to begin to move. We were a bit trapped, all right? I want to say we were actually stuck in some sort of imprisonment. Um, I don't want to say this is a mental imprisonment. I want to say we're actually trapped or stuck in this situation due to a false offer. Please excuse me if, uh, you know, these words offend anybody. But, you know, this offer actually kept uh, an illusion or kept us stuck in the mud almost. Not sure how to move or how things would uh, fall into place. Nonetheless, we took control of the situation, stepping up to the plate, made an offer to the universe. And as we can see, we close out that cycle and now our prayers are being heard. Manifestations are coming 
true and i love it i love it i love it let's keep going okay so there's many options in front of us maybe we're not seeing them all it could be a bit confusing because as i said we're coming from a situation where you know we may have been in a in a consistent um union but now we have options all right many doors are open and we're not seeing what's behind each each and what's inside of each cup we're definitely seizing opportunities we're definitely moving with the quickness because we're ready for this new beginning this new life the new give us the new thank you spirit i hear you i hear you oh screaming screaming at the top of your lungs so give me the new thank you spirit that's what i'm talking about great energy great energy let's keep going all right so it looks like okay it looks like <clears throat> we have a giver this queen of pentacles all right is she the one receiving this new beginning this ten of cups it looks like it because she was abandoned very good all right and it looks like this may have happened when somebody else was in their void of course moon they hoping to leave this pen queen of pentacles out in the cold and in actuality this the bound this the scales balanced out in favor of the queen of pentacles ah that's horrible energy but beautiful beautiful for this queen of pentacles extremely grateful this pen this queen of pentacles didn't follow this energy down the same rabbit hole that probably would have been more turmoil for both of them in this situation okay let's keep going so the scales are balanced it looks as if the Queen of Pentacles is harmonized, fully at joy, at peace. She's some sort of temperance angel walking around here, just alchemizing all types of people's energy. Gangster vibes, gangster vibes. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I love it, honestly. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is phenomenal, phenomenal energy. Love the way you persevere through this. Recognize or realize your worth. Knew your worth the entire time. You got tired of carrying somebody else's burden. And you decided to what? move forward like a boss sorry i didn't mean to do that i'm so sorry i'm just excited okay so yes it did take some time it did take time but you know what the knight of excuse me the knight of pentacles is a very diligent energy it takes time but he takes a scenic route why because he's learning the lessons and applying the lessons to his life so that he can be successful all right very I, i'm very excited for this so maybe there's some sort of news there's some sort of exciting announcement i don't know what that is about but whatever you have to announce or whatever this is i'm very excited very much excited and i believe it has to do with something about you walking away and cutting somebody and something off that did not serve you very good let's keep going Okay, so by you walking away from things, people, places, and situations that did not serve you, as you can see, this temperance angel is seeing things differently going through enlightenment. By that stepped onto their throne of divinity, the, the, the divine feminine energy at least, and recognize the gift, the abundance, all right? The alchemy. Is the gift the alchemy? I don't know, but this is beautiful energy. I want to, I just want to leave this out here if you guys don't mind. All right. All right. So, boop, 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 boop. Got it. Okay. So, it looks like High Priestess over here. I'm um, High Priestess. The Queen of Wa a Queen of Pentacles is also High Priestess. A gifted being, a gifted individual, all-knowing. A bit quiet, reserved to herself. Very sensual energy. High on the century. Very, very much protected, guarded, defensive. Uh, people who send anything could be communication could be spiritual warfare it doesn't reach this energy this energy is extremely elevated all right as you can see this energy is an empress so you know not only is it does it take a phenomenal amount of work to become the high priestess to become the i'm sorry the empress but to be ascend beyond the empress would be the high priestess so nothing is reaching this energy extremely favored and protected i'm extremely proud of this energy i love what i'm seeing it looks like somebody is watching for this new beginning all right with the queen of pentacles new beginning all right and they're having a sleepless night about this apparently it's somebody who you close the cycle out with and they're just waiting to see who and what this new beginning is gonna uphold i don't know why or what that's about that's very creepy and disgusting but you know what i mean everybody everybody let's see what this so they're masked up they're hiding they're cloaked in your energy possibly 
all right and they're doing research they're studying they're trying to figure out what's good they're conflicting all right there's conflict there's aggression there's argument i don't know if this is since this cycle has closed and this is the opposition but there's some sort of lying and cheating and deceitful behavior it's all types of information that was left out that's causing uh, uh arguments and aggr aggressions okay um, apparently there was supposed to be some sort of generational wealth or ten of pentacles situation here and it turns out that you know whatever's been brought to the light whatever cheating deceptive behavior that has been brought to to the light in the situation has honestly been a bit of a tower i guess with the close of the cycle as i say you know you remove somebody from your heart space um you know everything falls the good gets the good the bad gets the bad and clearly my collective is receiving the good while somebody else because my collective has surrendered receives what comes with that and I'm just proud of you for, you know, doing it. It's a lot harder. That we say that we can do this all the time, but to physically do this to I'm excuse me, to energetically do this is phenomenal. And clearly you've done so. So great job with that. I'm very proud of you um uh, for removing yourself from the five of pentacles for bringing justice to yourself. Um I'm going to ask you to remain distant from this energy. You don't want the trickle of this bad karma to run into your life you close out the cycle and you're proceeding forward so just keep doing that and it's like whatever you're getting yourself into may be causing problems for this situation that's opposing you that you closed out let's see if we can get anything else on that let's see if we can get anything else on that but great job for turning your cheek moving in another direction very confident all right confidently close the cycle yeah, all right, you're looking for your king of pentacles, a situation that you can give to. And as we clearly see, it's time for this wheel to spin in somebody's favor. All right, the karmic energy has definitely been released. And now you can begin your new journey. As for the king of wands in your life, it's hidden what's going on with them and the people they were once celebrating with. As you can see, it's not very pleasant for that other energy. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, so... With you, we have new energy, happy, playful. All right, it's still new. Nothing we're going to just jump and take seriously just yet. But genuine, creative, playful, friendly energy. I love this. I love this. All right, now maybe this is exactly what we've been waiting for. All right? Maybe this is that passion in the beginning that we've been getting a perspective for. We've been gaining all the appropriate information, maps, and guidance so that we can find our path. Or find our way on this spiritual path. Eh. All right, very good. Ooh, so this new energy, even though it's a fish in a cup, for one, is a past life soulmate, and two, is actually a king of cups. So they're taking their time. They probably understand that they're consumed with deep, deep, deep emotions, and that's scary to some people. So they want to come in light and easy, and then you know where it it goes from there. It looks like this is also orchestration of the Most High. You know, placing you two in each other's path, 13, 13 on the clock, because of all the investing and in investments that you poured into this past situation. All right. Because you are loving, compassionate, intuitive with the Queen of Cups, extremely understanding. All right. Very good. One second. We'll get to that one second. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Okay. So the Most High has spoken. All right. This is everything you've been waiting for. This. Is your new beginning because you successfully closed out this past situation seen it for what it was release it with the five of swords here you get a true king of cups all right somebody who's gonna be emotionally expressive emotionally intuitive emotionally intelligent mature and with somebody who's gonna actually cherish you and understand what you're going through so here we are with a brand new cycle for two soulmates who aren't even aware of each other just yet living their own life, minding their own business. But it seems as if they both may have closed out the same sort of cycle in order to bring them to face front with each other. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up here. This is a beautiful read. I hope you enjoyed this read. I very, 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 very much hope you enjoyed this read. I don't know where that very word came from, but I had to run with it. Um, this reading was very intense. In a positive way. It was a nice transition. I love it. Very lighthearted over here. Got a little heavy over there. But there's a very, very thick space. Like there's a space between the two. And it's a rather it's a rather uh, wide median. Alright, so I like that. 
I like I like the feel of the energy right now. Congratulations for pulling yourself away. And, you know, beginning this new beginning, beginning this new cycle. You are most deserving of this. And please remember, spirit will never, ever do anything if you are not deserving and if you are not prepared. So understand that you've done the necessary work for you to be where we are right now. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to leave this here. Um, I really, really, really appreciate you being part of my collective. I appreciate you being here with me, showing me love, liking, subscribing, and being a part of my soul family. All right, so I'm going to leave this here. I hope you have a wonderful night and love and light. Mucho mas, guys. Thank you.